Hey up guys, it's Kyle here, and I just wanted to do a quick video uh, about my thoughts on people who hate video games. And I'm not just talking about games like My Little Pony, I'm talking about games such as like Grand Theft Auto. People who hate violent video games, that's what I really should be calling this, because like, I'm not going to do any sort of like, uh, like, 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 I'm not going to do a um, sort of edit, you know, all together like other people do. But I wanted to get this out there because I've been watching some like documentaries recently and I don't usually watch documentaries but this one was fucking, if you can hear that MSN I really do apologise and uninstall this piece of shit. So yeah, um, people who hate violent video games, like the activists who are against it. Right, let me just think about this. Um, so even before electricity was invented, there was violence and aggression. Because if, if you even look in the like animal kingdom, there's violence and aggression. You, if you look at ants, Ants will fight each other over food. Now that is just typical aggression. Now I'm not going to get too deep into it about all this other stuff, like, you know, that's going to get boring. We're talking about games here, because I'm a gamer, you're a gamer, we talk about games. So let's just talk about Grand Theft Auto. Um, I am, I can be a violent person at times, but that's just who I am. That's how I was born. And I am, I don't go out and start killing people. Because that's just not what I do, you know? I have played so many violent games. I played Grand Theft Auto 1 before I even knew how to put sentences together. You know, just, you know, that kind of stuff. And I turned out, well, <laughs> I turned out kind of weird. But, you know, I, I'm not violent. The games I played were violent as hell. And I didn't turn out violent. Obviously, yeah, when you're a kid, you think it might be funny to get a flamethrower and do what they do on Grand Theft Auto. But then again, where are you going to acquire a a flamethrower. You can try and make one, but it's not going to work. You know, you can, do, you can do all you want to try and make one. Eventually, the kid's just going to get bored and just decide that it's a lot easier to do it on the game. That's what I did. I remember trying to build a flamethrower before when I was a kid with like an aerosol can and like, you know, a, a piping tube. It really didn't work out. So, I was like, you know what? I might as well just play the game because there I would pick one up and play with it rather than trying to make one myself. And it's just it's too much hassle for like everyone to, you know, deal with. So, yeah, all those people who are against it like, like crazy. It's just ridiculous, actually, if you think about it, because films, films were around before games, and films have always had violence in them, even like the black and white ones. There's always some sort of violence, and to think about it, those people who are complaining about video games have also probably most likely watched the violent films back in the days, and now they're petitioning to stop it. So basically they're trying to change the generation of today because it stayed pretty much the same and they just want to try and you know change it I don't understand that because if if my child when I have one of course ever decided to play a violent video game I would allow them to because you know it's they're not gonna kill anyone because a video game and there's that uh, what was it Columbine shooting that there was that's just that's just way over the top because people say that they played Doom to practice how to kill all the people in there. If you actually look into it, you'll find out that the the level they created was a, was a, a multiplayer map, not a single player. If it was single player, they could have all the classrooms and all the people in the classrooms, you know, but it was multiplayer. So you could only play it like with friends or online with other people. And other people aren't gonna sit in classrooms waiting for you. And if you even look further into it, you'll find out it didn't even resemble the school, the map they created. So, you know, I could do that on Little Big Planet. I could recreate my school on Little Big Planet, get the Paintinator gun, and go in there and go, <laughs> shoot everyone up. I could do that. But because it's Little Big Planet, it's the same principle, though. I go in there with a gun, and I destroy people, but it's a kiddie game. I could still do that on there, if I wanted to. But just because of the graphics... It's a different message. And that's that's what it's all about. It's all about realism now. If I created a game where ponies killed each other, but they didn't really kill each other, they, just, they sort of brushed past each other, and the other pony, like, dissolved. That wouldn't be violent. That would be considered, you know, normal. Normal game. But if I created a game where you were a chainsaw, and you went past a child, and the child's head went, <laughs> fell off, and then, like, all blood started spurting everywhere, that would be considered violent because of the graphics in the game. It's the same principle, but different graphics. So that's my little rant here. I might do more of these because I've got a lot of thoughts on things that just don't make sense to me because it's just, 
it's just like, what the fuck? It's, <laughs> some of the things in this world are just so beyond my comprehension that why would you try and ban a game that doesn't do anything? It's just for entertainment purposes. And I might research into a lot more things because sometimes I don't know things. If you have any opinion on this, please leave it in the comment below. Because I'd like to hear your opinions on what you think about violent game, uh, violent activists. Let's say violent video game activists. Because it's just, it's just crazy. Like what people think of nowadays. It's just something to argue about, really. That's all they want. People just want an argument. People want to fight. And see, see the thing is, now I think about it, they are creating drama. And they are creating, like, protests. Like, they are protesting against the violent games. No matter what you do, there will always exist violent games. And I understand that Ray Play, that video game Ray Play, that was a bit excessive. I will admit that was a bit excessive. That's that's more of a legal thing, really. So, you know, because, like, it was about raping people. So that's, that's more of a it's more of a legal thing rather than uh, killing people in a game. You know, raping people in a game, that's a bit too far. But... I'm sure there are games that exist like that on some various websites that you could possibly find by doing a quick Google search. Not that I would know. Uh, yep. But, I thank you guys for watching. Please leave your opinions in the comments below. I may do more of these depending on um, some subjects I can find. If you want me to discuss a subject that you might have an opinion on and maybe I get interested in it, I'm not sure. Video game related, of course, because real life related doesn't really interest me. So, leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace!